Hello and welcome to Langley and the Arca Car. This is going to be fun, I think. This is going to be real fun. We, uh, we've got a very interesting setup this time around. It seems like third gear is the way to go. Very interestingly. Very small track here at Langley. And the setup seems to promote third gear as the way to go. And it's so slippery. you got to be very careful. And I'm going to try to be careful here worry, for this worry. lap. Okay, here comes your first time lap. New fastest lap for Irvin, 16.1. One more lap. Woo! I think that's about as good as I can do. Yep, I'm about to spin out. So... Oh my goodness, you have to be so careful on a throttle. It, dare I say, it almost feels like you've got a more powerful version of the Arca car because of uh, how much power it feels like you have in third gear. It feels like I'm driving a Gen 4 Cup Series car. Not that I would know what that feels like, because obviously it's not on iRacing. But it feels like you've got a powerful Arca car because of all this, and it makes me... And this is basically the old Gen 4 body, so it's like... Man, is this what it would be like in that car? I don't know. I racing, please. <laughs> Get on it. Because I'm actually, I'm having a great time just uh, driving this thing. Like you, uh, I don't even think you want to get to full throttle when you get to the start finish line. Because obviously during qualifying there, I'm pushing pretty hard. But I don't think you want to light the rears up. I think you want to be gentle on the throttle. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I was general on the throttle and it still did that. Yeah, this is going to be wild, man. We are P3. 4.1 strength of field. It's a pretty strong one. Shane's right behind us. I sent like a billion good lucks to everybody. But we're not too far off. Justin with the pole. Larry with the second place. Hey, Wesley, ready up. Oh, dang. Wesley just got yelled at. <laughs> Did actually tell the day I don't know. You're asking the wrong person, buddy. But you can see plenty of people getting loose in qualifying. I'm assuming what those two X that's what those two X's are. It looks like it Even does. Shane with his great time. Wesley ready, ready, ready. ready. Wow, he's very demanding. That's the end of the session. P three. Thank you. You are the real MVP for that. We're gonna go up or else. I really hope it helps it help it help it help it help it's not actual <laughs> night. <sighs> P3, that's pretty good. Like, I'm terrible at short tracks. That's well documented. But I'm like kind of loving this. <laughs> like having to be really careful in the throttle, super loose race car. I don't know how I'm gonna do here. I hope I don't spin out. I, but I really do think the way to be is just as uh, easy on the throttle as you can be. Don't light the rears up. Like, I'm excited for a short track, and that, that never happens. <laughs> I'm sure I won't be excited when I loop it in two laps, but... Oh, well. <laughs> I'm sure... Larry's going to really want to get to the inside. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, got the nervous burps, apparently. Disgusting. Hideous. <laughs> but, huh. Do I get my brake bias where I want it? Yeah. Brake bias actually up compared to normal. I'm actually just leaving it at, uh, leaving it at default. Can't believe that fit. Follow car number zero two. All right. Please. Nervous but excited. Yeah. 
Here we start again. Oh god, we're gonna like loop it on throttle, I bet. Oh my gosh, this pace feed is so slow. This is gonna be so interesting. I just hope I can uh, make it somewhat decently far into the race because I just want to experience this. Get my hair out of my face. I need a haircut bad. It's like in my eyes. One left to green. I'm sure everybody was super interested to know that. So iRacing's got that weird thing where it starts getting loose kind of like when you get higher revs instead of right when you hit the throttle. So um, that's interesting. Going to be delicate here. About to go green. Stay focused. Oh, this is going to be weird. I love it. All right, Colton. Green, 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 green flag. Green, green flag. Outside. Clear. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car. Able to stay on the inside of Larry here. Keep low. The next car's the way where he is. There is a car on the high side. Don't spin Still away. There. Hold your line. You're in second position right now. Sixteen point two. Outside is clear. This is so tough. Oh, oh, Justin. The gee. Get inside we. The guy behind has just done a 16 point I'm telling you, the key is going to be really not lighting up those rears, just being delicate, super delicate on the throttle. So I'm going to try to avoid what Justin did there the whole race. I don't want to do that even once. That was a 16.4. The guy behind has just done a 16.3. Like, I'm so used to driving, like, tight race cars on iRacing, but, like, in everything. Like, it feels like we actually got a proper, like, loose setup here, and I'm kind of, like, all about it. Use that apron a little bit. We'll pressure him. I don't want to... Anything too crazy though, not necessary anyway. Kinda went a little high there, that's alright though. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Oh, it's just someone coming out of the pits, I think. Oh my goodness. Kind of weird. Outside. Oh, my ankle is going to hurt after this one, being so delicate on the throttle. It's going to be real stiff. So my hope is maybe Justin will light the rears up a little bit. And uh, me being delicate on the throttle will pay off in the long run. He looks like he's kind of figured it out, though. He's not getting loose anymore, it doesn't look like. I think maybe he had that moment and was like, oh. Speaking of moments, holy smokes. It's so easy to do, man. I was barely on the throttle, too. That's just what happens. Gotta let the tires cool down a little bit. We got a little bit of gap. I think Larry Pace wrecked, which, <laughs> if that doesn't tell you how tough this is, I don't know what will. That guy's good. I don't know if he wrecked. Maybe he just got sideways and lost a bunch of spots or something, but...
We got the 21 making his way forward. That's an impressive run by him so far. He's catching up to me, too. I might have to let him go. The car inside. Stay high, three. Stay high, the car on the low side. I don't want to let the whole field by, but I guess I am going to. Still there at the bottom. There's Larry Pace. He's still back there. Uh oh, I think Adam got wrecked. Maybe I should have defended against the 21, but he was coming much faster. And uh, I just want to make it to the end, first and foremost. Go on the outside, I need a pit. Mm, now I'm getting sideways. Hey, a cone. Oh, my foot hurts. Like I was saying, my ankle's gonna hurt after this one. <laughs> Having to be so delicate on the throttle. Oh my gosh, it's getting so loose. Thank you, Okay, we're getting messy now. Oh my god, Larry's coming in. Still there, inside. Clear. Maybe I was being too hard on the throttle, even though I felt like I was being easy on it. B7. Gotta watch over the 16. He's a lap car. And not getting out of the way. For some reason. I don't understand why. Like, get out of the way, man. I don't know how patient Larry's going to be with that. That lap time was 16.7. Flow guard down low. The gap in front is now 1.0. Uh-oh, it's Gavin. Inside. Clear. I'm kind of wondering, like, I wonder if late in the race, after you've burned up the rear so much, if shifting to fourth all of a sudden would be good. Since the car will be so loose. Maybe if I've got some room, I'll test that out later. Fortunately, Gavin's run into trouble, or someone ran into him. Probably more likely. That's what it sounded like earlier. Um, he's look like he, he looks like he has good pace too, so that sucks. I'm currently content with where I am right now. God, my ankle hurts though. I lost a bunch of spots letting that one guy go, but I think I was moving back anyway. Hopefully we're not getting caught. I feel okay. pretty slow. Oh god, only halfway. Okay, Colton. Halfway home. Fuel's good. The gap to Bowden behind is now 1.2 seconds. I'm angle so much. This is crazy. Never been in so much pain driving a race car. Okay, now it's getting tight. Unless I just overdrove that. I am down here. Oh, I can't even. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slow car ahead. Feel your big oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Unfortunately, no free spots there. Those were the cars.
Just gotta breathe, just gotta take it easy and cruise to a seventh place, I think. I think that's the way it's gonna have to be. Your lap time was 16.7. like this guy to get out of the way. Alright Colton, the next car is Irvin. Like there's nothing I can do if he doesn't get out of the way. I can't bump him because of the way the Arca car works. Can't go on the outside of him, that's for sure. Little Ryan Newman here in front of us. The gap to Bowden behind is now 0.9. I mean, he's not going that slow. <sighs> I think he's going to wreck it. Get out of the way. Still there, hold your line. Clear up, cop. Crisis averted. I thought for a second he was going to wreck me. You're feeling all right. Just overdriving a tiny bit. Got 13 behind me. Yep. Ankle hurts real bad. I'm gonna be honest, the ankle hurting me is actually affecting my driving. It's very distracting. Today I learned I need to do ankle exercises. Is that even a thing? Probably. As usual, I'm super tense for no reason as well, because it's a short track. That's probably not anything. The driver in front of us is Jordan. A little loose there. Trying to pick up the pace a little bit so this 13 doesn't catch me. Oh, I just saw a name I don't like. A name that scares me. I don't know them personally, they might be a nice person, but a name on the relative that scares me. Because of past experiences. Not gonna say any more than that, but uh, got a little bit more scared than I already was. <laughs> But hey, this is pretty fun. Probably not very fun for Gavin, unfortunately. Because <laughs> he's, uh, he's been lapped down for most of this thing, I think. Gosh, that's going to be awful. If, like, if my ankle were hurting this bad and I had nothing to race for, then I'd be like, just let me leave. <laughs> Get me out of here. Looks like the 21 might be falling off after, uh, it's pretty fast earlier. Interesting. I wonder if it's, like, it's right front? It's his rear? His rear tire. Can't just say his rear. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> his rear tires. I wonder if he's having a lot of grip troubles there. We probably aren't going to catch him, but I'll give it a go. As we're running out of time, got five to go here coming up. Five, five 
Take a breather after this one. This race has been intense. Little sideways. Take it easy. Cut a lot of you from there. <laughs> oh no, the 21 is having such a good run. That's a spot, but that sucks. I'm kind of rooting for him. Oh, with only five to go, too. That's a heartbreaker. I hope he gives it another try this week, because he's clearly got speed. I bet he could probably win one of these things. I mean, this is a, you know, four point... I mean, obviously, he's not, like, a 200 IP guy. He probably wins tons of races. This is a 4.1 strength of field, so he's probably still, like, 3,000. But, uh... Man, he was having a great round. That sucks. Left. White flag, white flag. Coming to the white flag. White flag, one more lap. You've just done a 16.8. Alright. Got it done. I don't know how you're getting some of those lap times. That's crazy. Low car up high. B6. Woo. There we go. It's over. Bring it back round. Good race. Good win. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, my hands, my ankle. I could have pushed a little more, but it was like, I'm just going to ride. <laughs> but that was pretty fun. Let's go ahead and park it somewhere. I, like I, did I kept Justin in view the whole race. <laughs> what users? Okay. P6. I'm very happy with that. I know I yeah, lost I'm, a lot of I'm, spots. I'm like on but, uh... But I, think I get that felt like it was inevitable. Might have been on it a little bit too hard on the start. Yeah, 93, 94. Wow, it is all just tire heat, huh? Very interesting. And the left sides are almost, almost as worn. That's so interesting. Okay. 91, 91, 93, 94. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> I gotta have a, I gotta buffing up my ankle. Do some lifts, but uh, my rider was so tired. <laughs> yep, pretty uh, pretty brutal, even for the winner. But uh, we'll go ahead and see what happened out here. Much cleaner than I expected. But of course, we've got a very, very strong field first race of the week. So, got some good drivers in here. Got the uh, bit of a check up there, and so the 16 gets into the four. There's a pirouette and gets it going. No one runs into him. That's some good avoidance by everybody. Oh, Brian, a little bit too fast mid corner, it looks like. Broke loose on him. That's what it kind of looked like. Oh, oh no. The nine overcorrects and kills Gavin. That must have been what happened. Man, he was in fourth? I didn't even know. Oh man. Hmm, but what, uh, start at 7th. Yeah, he just, he, the 9 overcorrects and then uses Gavin to, to catch himself, I guess. Yeah. That's got to be frustrating. So I guess he got the start on the inside, probably got some spots, and then I'm sure his car's messed up to some degree. And then the nine spinning again, and no uh, 
first of all, no holding the brakes, it looks like, but also uh, no overcorrect into somebody there. Instead, he just kind of like rolls it around. <laughs> <sighs> this guy's name keeps making me think of Coco Chris for the former baseball player. Nobody asked, I know. <laughs> uh, the 8 is going to take out the 23. That's Diego. He's also been in the uh, K Fight Championship races. 8 being a little squirrely, and then I guess. I don't know where the 8 is trying to go, actually, because there's no room down at the bottom. He's just getting on the throttle way too much and then comes up and takes out the 23. That's a really cool Jasper scheme, too. Reminds me of Dave Blaney. Oh, we got another person with it. Lots of people with good taste. Oops. Skip past that, but it looks like a loose moment followed by some wall, maybe, for the 22 there. Yeah, the tires are hot, too. That's Wesley right there, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I recognized that scheme. A lot of guys' schemes I recognize because we've uh, seen them in the K5 championship. I think we're stuck on Brian now, though. Incidents are broken. Man. I guess we will... Where am I? Okay. I kind of want to go back and look at where I let the guys buy. They kind of pulled away, though. I think it was inevitable. I think I maybe just got on the uh, rear tires a bit too much early on. Plus that little slide I had where I almost looped it. And, like, you could see, like, he's he was going to make a, a move right there anyway, I think. So, rather than just making it close and risk getting wrecked, I just let him have it. But, unfortunately, I got stuck on the outside. Tried my best to get back in, but I'm not going to force anything and be dangerous. So... Just get them all by me. Collect myself. I found a spot here after the three, and then Larry eventually catches me and decides he you know, <laughs> doesn't want to waste time. Probably shouldn't waste time on me anyway. But he was faster as well. We kind of evened out to where I needed to be, I think. Yeah, he was kind of there. Obviously no big deal. I saw it coming. We figured it out. But, uh... I kind of, I ended up where I was supposed to anyway, with a P6, as the 6, and uh, I'm usually not good at short tracks, so I am, like, thrilled with this. With a 4.1 strength of field, absolutely. I'll take it every day of the week, so. Uh, I guess we'll fast forward for a while, see if we recognize any other accidents that happen. Shield your eyes if this makes you dizzy. <laughs> Whoa, look how fast we are. Wow. I'm zooming. And then here we get held up by the 16 for 20,000 laps. I could have been better, I guess, and uh, set up a pass, but kind of unnecessary, too. Because even though the guy behind was coming up a little bit, I wasn't too concerned. And uh, eventually we get the inside on him anyway. Yeah, and then uh, the 21, that sucks so bad. I was rooting for him. I really was. Let's see, though. Yeah, 3.1, 3 so... I'm used to like doing these single split races where the 21 car is like a 300 I rating guy. <laughs> I mean, this guy wins t a ton already, I'm sure. But still, it sucks. You see a, someone in the 21 in sixth place. That's a great day at the track, so. Always rooting for the high car numbers, but uh, just heartbreaker for him. Only a couple laps to go and he spins it, so that sucks. Oh yeah, incident's broken. Sorry about that. But not seeing much else anyway. I think the second half of the race was pretty darn clean, regardless. So that'll do it. We start P3 somehow and uh, kind of even out to where I'm supposed to go. 13 great run, too, from 22nd to 7th. Shout out to them as well. And uh, yeah, all right, that'll do it. P6. Very interesting setup here at Langley. I actually like it quite a bit. Very fun, um, loose race car, and uh, keep it in third. If you race this this week, third gear is the way to go. Just uh, make sure, uh, you know, they say put an egg under the throttle, put two eggs under there <laughs> for this week. But uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good one. See ya.